Um, well, Sean and I, we worked together on a, a couple small projects. Um, and he was actually supposed to shoot the Diamond District film. And from the beginning, we <clears throat> developed this, uh, we talked about the movie being an opera of long lens. We always looked at the movie as an opera and uh, wanted to do as much as we could to kind of combat a uh, documentary vibe. Uh, so no handheld, we shot the whole movie on tripods, which was, you know, I remember there was one like, review in, in Portugal, it's about Daddy Long, like said, the, the review was a picture of a tripod and said, Safdie Brothers, this is a tripod. This guy too much credit. You know. No, I, I give him way too much credit. I hated him at the time. Um, but you know, I paid attention. And uh, so I talked to, we developed a, um, a heavily glassed filter system just to develop this kind of hazed up, drugged up look. And um, yeah, I mean, we had, at, we were mixing actors with, with first time actors and non-professionals and um, you know, those people, you, they, they, you can't really be close with them with a camera because it will freeze them up. And we're never interested in kind of uh, damning the, the life of the city. And we would have to kind of give space to our actors. And, and it was actually fortifying for them as well because it forced them to kind of amp up their performance. And, I, and like in every way, like with this subject matter, it would have made sense to shoot it handheld. You know, you're shooting the street, you're shooting the nitty gritty. You got to get in there and be on that level. But that's what we didn't want to do. We were kind of going in the opposite direction. How we made our lives so much harder by doing this, but that kind of forced everybody to raise, raise their level of performance in addition to us. And as for permits, you do need to get permits. Yeah, with a movie like this, if you don't have permits, you're yeah. legally shooting so yourself it was, in the foot. So it, we were doing a lot of new things. Yes, there's some stolen shots, but it, for the most part, we had the permits because we had big cameras set up in intersections and medians across the street. And... I always think it's so great because um, for, for the people walking by, it was real. But for us, it was this heavily hard to get shot. These are this big in the frame. Yeah, we're shooting 2,400 we're, millimeters. And we're all the way across the street. But th there's such a high turnover that everybody walking by adds a new kind of s hecticness to the frame because they've never seen these people before. Or maybe they have, and they're just like, oh, they're just having another fight. And they look by, and they'll just keep going, and they'll keep walking. And the whole idea was to kind of not have the camera be the hecticness, but have the city add that sort of vibration. When it comes to permits, though, when you go for a shot like the one where she's crossing the highway at the end of the movie after she gets kicked off the bus. That was a stolen shot. I was kidding. <laughs> uh, okay. That was a dumb <laughs> shot, really. It was, yeah. That was scary. Yeah, the highway stuff is frightening. Us. She, yeah. she, she, she shot. ran into the middle of the highway. Uh -huh. You know, we had, like, that was actually like a 15 or 17 minute shot. Yeah. And, you know, she said she needed time to get into it so she really spent a lot of the time just like laying on the side of the highway right. and then she stood up and we were on steady cam so then she just kind of moved into the middle of the highway yeah and actually it was you know a lot of us screaming like yeah. you know stop you know yeah. in the it was uh, that was actually yeah there scary was a lot of deleting of like watch out <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then actually our father was happened he's you know our biggest fan obviously and he was running around like photographing the whole thing. And Ari, afterwards, she said to me, "He goes, who's the crazy guy who got out of his car <laughs> and was filming the whole yeah. thing on his little camera?" This yeah. is my father. <laughs> oh. He happens to be the guy who screams in Italian on the bus yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. no, but to answer your question in short, you know, ask any cameraman we work with; they'll tell you it's not easy. We push them really hard. Asking someone to shoot a close-up from a block and a half away is, with in New York City, a lot of variables is is not. Um, it's not an easy task, and I, and I really take, term, take my hat off to them. 